Hey everyone, so today I'm going to show you how to create this RNG shadow look that is perfect for any eye color. So if you're wondering how I made this look, then keep on watching. With a clean face, moisturize your face, and I'm using my future gel moisturizer. Next, prime your face with any primer. With the foundation, I like to dot it all over my face. And after all the dotting shenanigans, I like to get my damp beauty blender and blend it all away. So you guys, you should not forget to put foundation on your neck as well to look like a one piece person. With the concealer, I'm using the Instant Age Rewind by Maybelline and I'm just concealing my dark Sicilian eye bags and priming my lid as well. Next, I'm just gonna grab my all-time favorite powder which is the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Powder and I'm gonna set my under eyes with it to prevent creasing of course because who likes creasing i mean i don't for my brows i'm gonna use my anastasia dip brow pomade and my clear brow gel and it's about time to contour the living shed out of our faces Today I'm using the Makeup Revolution Contour Kit and I've heard that this is the dupe of the Anastasia one but I'm not really sure. Although it works good so might as well try it you guys. And now I'm going to take this banana shade for my eyelids to serve as a base for my shadow of course. And with this orange shadow, I'm going to use it as my transition color and I'm going to place it on top of my crease. With my tartlet in bloom, I'm going to take Smarty Pants and put it all over my crease. And after that, I'm going to get my blending brush to blend it all out. With the shade Jet Setter, I'm going to focus on my outer beast and a little bit on my lid. And then I'm going to blend it all out. The funny girl shade i'm gonna put it on my lid for some shimmer and then go back with the jet setter and blend it all out for some ombre effect again with the orange shadow i'm gonna retouch my transition color and get this white matte shadow for my brow bone so this is the look in front of natural lighting Next, I'm going to curl my lashes and then get this Hyper Curl Mascara from Maybelline. And I'm going to take my MAC Pressed Powder to set everything on my face. With the blush, I'm using the Auto Balm by The Balm and I'm just going to put it on the apples of my cheeks. For the highlight, I'm also using the Auto Balm and I'm just going to put it on the, my cheekbones, the bridge of my nose, and my cupid's bow. And this Vaseline for my chapped lips. Then I'm going to grab my NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream for my lips. And set my face with my Victoria's Secret Setting Spray.
Hey everyone, so if you're wondering what it looks like in front of natural light, then it looks like this. This is the final look and I'm sorry if you can't see the look properly in the lighting a while ago, but here it is. This is the look. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share it to your friends. Bye!